Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this iMac Early 2008. Now this is the 20 inch version and it's also the lowest end model for the Early 2008 lineup. Inside it has an Intel Core 2 Duo processor running at 2.4 GHz, 3 GB of DDR2 memory, however 4 GB is officially supported by Apple and 6 GB is actually the true maximum threshold for the amount of memory this computer can support. However, the reason that I only have 3 GB installed currently is because that's what I have on hand, so that's what I put inside of it. As for the display, we have the 20-inch display, which is ran by the ATI Radeon HD 2400 XT graphics with 128 megabytes of video memory. Now, actually, that is the exact same video card that was in the uh, mid-2007 20-inch iMac, if I remember correctly. Had to think there a little bit. It also has a 250 gigabyte spinning hard drive inside, and on the side here we can find our built-in super drive. So, let's go ahead and take a look around. Starting at the top of the machine, we will find our built-in microphone and our 480p EyeSight camera. On the right-hand side of the machine, we will find our built-in super drive. On the back of the machine at the top, we will find ventilation in addition to our Apple logo. Reaching around from the bottom left-hand corner of the front of the machine, we will find our power button. Taking a look at the ports, moving from left to right, we have audio out, audio in, three USB 2.0 ports, one FireWire 400, one FireWire 800, Ethernet, and mini DVI video out. Taking a look under the stand, we will find our power socket. Above that, a hole for ventilation for one of the fans inside. And below all of that, our Kensington lock port. So, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Here we go. Now, I may or may not have previously mentioned that this machine is running 10.11.6, or El Capitan. That's the highest officially supported operating system that this machine can run. Of course, you can patch macOS Sierra or 10.12 to run on this machine as well. However, we're going to be using El Capitan since that is the officially supported maximum operating system for this machine. You may also notice on the screen some lines that are moving downwards. And that's not there in real life, that's just the camera and the screen refresh rate not really going hand in hand with each other. So it causes those ripples to be uh, present in the camera. It does take a little bit of time to load here. However, once it is loaded up and you wait a little bit, everything will run absolutely fine without any problems. It's amazing that a machine this old, well, I don't want to think of it as too old, but from 2008, can still run absolutely fine here in 2017. And here we are, up and running. So, let's go ahead and go to About This Mac. Might take a second here, since it's still loading stuff in the background. And there we are. We can see our current version of El Capitan and all the specs that I have previously mentioned. We can see more detailed information about the screen and storage here and of course memory. Now to install six gigs of memory all you have to do is have a two gig stick and a four gig stick. Obviously together that'll make six gigs altogether. Of course, doubling the amount that I have right now would definitely help this machine out. However, these were the sticks that I had on hand for the maximum amount of memory that I could put in this machine at, the, at this given time. So, everybody likes to use the internet, so let's go ahead and take a look at the default browser here of Safari. It is up to date, so we'll go ahead and 
load lighting gallery here, a nice basic website. And we can scroll through it, not a problem. Loads everything, nice and snappy. Of course, YouTube runs flawlessly on this machine. You can even watch HD content without a problem. We can see the ad, for example, is loading just fine. So, everything on the internet, anything you think of, Facebook, uh, maybe some work that you may need to do, anything will run absolutely fine on this machine for internet-wise. Of course, if you'd like Firefox, Chrome, or Opera, all of those are up-to-date and fully supported on this machine, and they all work just as flawlessly as Safari does. We also have Office on this machine. El Capitan does support Office 2016, however I do not have that currently installed here on this particular machine. This is Office 2011, and one thing that I like about Office 2011 and 2010 on the Windows side is that they were both, at least some, of the last versions of Office that used just one product key and you're done. Of course, you may know that newer versions of Office, such as Office 2016, you need to have a Office 365 subscription where you pay monthly or yearly to use the application. I find that absolutely ridiculous and would much rather have a pay once and done option. So here we are with Office 2011 and it runs absolutely fine as you can see here it's popping up super fast. We can hit choose and boom you're up and typing your paper. Of course zoom in on that a little bit so you're not hurting your eyes and trying to see that small document but you have all the ribbons here just like you would on the Windows side of Office and it's absolutely the same except it just looks a little older. So we can go ahead and quit Word. Of course Excel runs just fine as well and all these other applications work just fine as well. I have not tried uh, Final Cut Pro 10 on this machine just yet. It might not even be fully supported but I put it on here as when I was installing all of my other applications I thought hmm might as well put it on see if it works. Haven't had time to actually see if it does work but it's on here, it installed without yelling at me, so maybe it does work. But all of these applications, at least most of them, excuse me, I have used and they all work just fine. For example, Photoshop here works great, so does Minecraft and anything in between. All these applications work very well on this machine. It's amazing that a machine this old from 2008 and even the 2007 iMac as well, which is in a separate video, run so well, even though they're so old. Anyway, it's a great machine and it's definitely recommended. So I really do hope you enjoyed this review of the iMac 2008 here in 2017. And also please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.